the issue that lured Maya Miller was issues regarding the poor. Um, who's taking care of the poor, the inequities in society. She was very much uh, concerned with that. She had herself, uh, she came from an affluent background, so money was not a key for her. Social justice was, though, and she used her personal means to very quietly bankroll many social justice campaigns. Maya Miller, um, she had the tenacity about her, the conviction of uh, the need for social justice and she wanted to make that happen. So anyone who was around Maya felt that, the depth of her conviction, and basically wanted to be on Maya's team. It was, a, it was a winning team, it was a just team, and they wanted to be a part of it. In the South, uh, Jean Ford was a young mother, two girls, and uh, the issue that first politicized her, believe it or not, was uh, her daughter's inability to access uh, the, the county library, or no library at all. So she enacted uh, a campaign to establish a county library that would be accessible to any resident, whether you lived in an incorporated area or not, didn't matter. So that was the first thing that politicized Jean Ford. Secondly, she was an outdoor enthusiast, and an acquaintance told her uh, who was involved with the League of Women Voters. You love the outdoors. The League is currently studying the state parks. And there's discussion about establishing a park right here in Las Vegas. That was enough to entice Jean Ford to become involved and she later spearheaded the formation of our Red Rock State Park right outside Las Vegas. So those are the issues that first, first pulled both Maya Miller and Jean Ford into uh, involvement in the League of Women Voters, and they would become um, a president and, and lead the organization uh, for a good number of years.